the one, the only, Ben Seal. Okay, good evening and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube, Just Off It. Today, we're doing Nazir Daf Samagal, number 61. We're finishing the eighth parak. We started in the last parak, the ninth parak. I look at my glasses. I look okay. Some people probably don't realize I wear glasses. I, mean, I don't really wear glasses. I need glasses. I wear contact lenses, but I'm hoping one day soon to get the LASIK surgery. Um, it's annoying to wear contacts also. All right. <clears throat> Let's start. Samachalaf and Aleph. The third line. Two dash. Lachas Anega. Bayrami Rahama. Hani Arba Tagli Tigal Chios. The four shavings. The Kamar Mishum Mitzvah. Mishum Ahure Saratuma. Right, we mentioned in the last Mishnah on Dach Nun Tenam Abiz, we talked about an interesting case where you're a Suffolk Nazir and a Suffolk Matsora. You have to 120 days to keep your Naziris and to shave your head at the end of every 30 days before you're allowed to completely be free of your absolved of your Naziris. Shaving those head four times, does that Mishum Mitzvah, a Chiyav, that you have to do it? Normally, when a Nazir shaves his head, it has to be with a razor specifically. Or is the point just to get rid of his hair of Tuma? And we'll see in a second what the Nafkina why why that should be different. What what difference does that make? So more my Nafkina, what's the practical difference? The Abure Benasha to take off the hair with the lapidary cream, you know, or with an Arelko shaver. Or anything that's not a razor, right? Technically the mitzvah we learn many times in the Masech is a razor, by right? both by Masora and a Nazir. Yeah, If you say it's a mitzvah, the chiyuv, right, to end your naziras, so you have to do it with a razor. If it's just to get rid of your hair, technically you could just use the laboratory cream and just any way you get rid of the hair. Now, if you think about this question, it's a little hard to understand this question because at the end of the day, it's all of these shavings are suffix whether you're ending your naziras, both of Tuma and Tara. We learned earlier in the Masechim, Daf Membez, even for, you know, ending the naziras of Tuma, you become Tameh as a nazir, and you have to shave your head. That's also with a razor. Many times in the Masechim, you have to shave with a razor. So it's a suffix. So, suffix the rice of you just have to shave with a razor. What kind of question is the Gemara asking over here? Because it's such a difficult problem, and footnote number two over here, um, Archibald tries to come up with some explanation. They say, out of the four shavings, we're only talking about the third out of the fourth. And technically, they're asking about any shaving of a Nazir Tameh. Anyone who's Nazir Tameh, even Nazir Tameh Bevadai, right? When he ends his Nazir's Batum and he starts again the 30 days of Tara, right? Is that subject to a razor? Now, they point out the Gemara on Membez Amanala 42a says that you have to do with a razor. So they say that Gemara was only talking about after the resolution of our Gemara over here, or the Gemara is going to say in a second, that is Mishu Mitzvah. <clears throat> I am bothered by what the article says over here. It's a very good question, but I have a very good answer also, and I don't believe you have to say the Gemara was only talking about the third of the fourth, and it can only. And, it can, and why is the Gemara asking over here? The Gemara is asking that Nazir Batuma anywhere else in the Masech, the why over here, to resolve this question. I have a very unique take. Uh, makes a lot of sense to me. Sveik Sveika, distinguished here. We really have a Sveik Sveika over here, if you think about it. We have a double Sveik, Sveik Nazir, Sveik Masoro. We'll talk about that in comparison to the Ion Ben Sion I gave on Daf Samich on, on Friday. Um, it'll be a good comparison between the two, and I think it's the correct answer. So the Gemara says Tashma, my Amarav Tashma Migaleach Arba Takalachios. It says in the Mishnah he shaves four times. He's not going to die. Talk Mishum Avurei Sar Tuma Filu B'Shalosh Nami Sagi. Right? If you say, let's say according to the Arskel's explanation, only time with the third one, so you should just be able to do it three times, right? Why well, say you have to shave? It's to shave with a razor. You don't shave with the laboratory cream. You just put the cream on. It must be. It says it's four tagalachios, shavings. So obviously it has to be with a razor. And therefore, they all have to be with a razor. We finished the eighth parak. Eight and nine problems is pretty good. Let's get on to the ninth parak. Akusim ain't lahem zeros. Kusim. The Gemara assumes the Kusim and our Mishnah are not Jewish people. Even the Gemara elsewhere it says, it's Machlokas, whether Kusim are Jewish people or not. They don't have Naziris. Nashim Avadim, Yesh Lahem Naziris. Nashim Avadim, they have. It's applicable Nazir. If an, a woman or an Evid takes a Naziris upon himself, all the halachas 
under the jar to apply. Chomer benashim mevadim should kovas avdo ve'en al kovas ishdo. If his eved takes the naziras upon himself, you could actually force him to break your his naziras. Uh, a woman, your wife, you can't force her. Where says Ksani Yakusim Elohim Naziras Menani Mila? Where do you know this? The Tanar Rabban and Daber Al Bnei Yisrael says the beginning of Parsha of Naziras. Speak to Bnei Yisrael of the law of the Chavim. Bnei Yisrael, they're Jews. Of the Chavim are not Jews. So Kusim are not Jews. Vamart Aleim. The positive thing to say to them, which is extra. Why do they say to them? The Beres to say to them. The extra word. The Rabbis say about them. Come to include. Even slaves are subject to Naziras. Lamely cross. The Mar immediately asks, why do you pasuk to include Avodim? Amar kol misa sheisha chayvas ba eved chayv ba. The Gemara says many places that we learn exerash of a lala, right? Wherever, <coughs> wherever a woman is chayv, for example, mitzvah she lozma, she lozma on grama, they are not bound by time. Avodim knayim are also chayv in those mitzvahs. Why do you need a pasuk to include them? Amar rov shiny hacha. The Amar kral asar israel nafsho. One of the psukim by Shvuos and Naziras is to take an iser to, to bind yourself with the Naziras. <clears throat> it's only a person who could, who is his nefesh, his his soul is in his own hands. By an Eved, his nefesh, his body at least, is subservient to somebody else. Like we said in the Mishnah, uh, 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 a Rav, a master, can force his Eved to break this Nazira. You might think there's no concept of Nazira by Avadim. Kamash Malan, that's why the Pasuk adds them in. This is Avadim, also it's applicable in Nazira. They could become a Nazir. Amar Mar. So the Bryce said, Dabra Abnei Yishav, Lalo De Chavim. Right? We excluded non Jews and Kusim in the Mishnah because it says Bnei Yishav, and they're not out of the Chavim. Kalecha De Chsiv Yisrael, of the Chavim Lo. Any t- anywhere in the Torah, it says where Bnei Yisrael, non-Jews are not included. We have a different place by Erechen. It says, speak to Bnei Yisrael. Because part of Erechen in the Torah, if you're not familiar with the Torah, the Torah talks about Erechen, we'll learn in Seder Kodshim, Zechus Erechen. A person could donate, there's different ways of donating money to the base of Mikdash. One of the ways is saying the Erech of a person, I'm donating to the base of Mikdash. And the, and the end of Sefer Vayikra talks about the values that different people have, you know, whether you're, if you're a male between 20 and 60, you're the most valuable type of person. So your Erech is worth like 50 shkalim or something like that, not that much money. So if you say the Erech of this person, <coughs> so Bnei Yisrael could make an Erech in vow, right? And a non-Jew, if he says, a non-Jew says, I'm going to donate the value of this person to, to the base of me, this doesn't work. They can't do it. You might think they also can't um, be evaluated. It says ish. It says the word ish over there. It's just inclusive to tell you that in all they, even though they can't actually make a vow to the base of me, but... If a Jew were to say the value, the erich of a non-Jew between 20 and 60, he would have to give 50 shekel to base of Mikdash. So, <clears throat> here also, it happens to say Bnei Yishel, but it also says the word Ish by Nazir. So we should say also by Nazir, the like world will explain this a little more in detail on Samach Aleph and the base, we should, in, in Ish, that Nazir should be a complete Nazir. He should, Dabar Bnei Yishel, Bnei Yishel are complete Nazir, and they bring Karbonos, they're, the, the Yisur of Naziras apply to them, and they bring Karbonos and the Naziras. But um, a non-Jew, he should at least become a Nazir partially. The Yisur of should apply to him, he just should never bring the Karbonos at the end. Versus Shani Hacha, the Amakra, here, you can't include them at all. La'avi will imo lo yitama. It says a Nazir, he can't be Tame for his father or mother. Amishi Yishlo Av. And only Naziris, the whole constant Naziris at all, is only applicable to someone who has a father. That's how they call him Shein Lav. Oh, they call him in most halachas, they don't have a father. Lamai, what does it mean they don't have a father? You're the Yerusha, that non Jews don't have Yerusha from a father. Usually you inherit from your father. I'm a Rabbi Kiyabar Avin, I'm a Yochan, I'm a Rabbi Yorish Zavid. Devar Torah, Mido Raisa, a non Jew inherits his father. Shenem, or even according to Torah, Kirusha la Isa, Natati is Harsayer, right? Asa was apparently not Jewish. So Asa <laughs> gave Har Seir. They had an inheritance. They passed down from generation to generation in the mountain of Seir. So they have Yerusha. El of Misha Muzar al Kibar Aviv. So they're learning from the Pasuk. It says, La Aviv the Imo. La Aviv, someone who the midst of Kibar Av applies to them. Kabu Kibar Aim. Misha Ksiv, right? Non Jews are not, they only have Zion Mizzah they know. They don't have the midst of Kibar Av Aim. So the Gemara refutes that. The Gemara says, Miksiv 
Kabed Avicha Ibn Azir? It doesn't say Aviv. It says for father and mother Yitama. It doesn't say anything about Kibodav. El Amar Kral Avili Mo Lo Yitama. It has to be someone who Tuma is relevant to. He also has to be someone who Tuma is relevant to. He also has to Non-Jews, there's no concept of Tuma and Tara by Yaldi Chavim. Mishael no Tuma. Mindal. And how do you know that's true? That a non-Jew can't become Tama if he touches a corpse. Delays the Tuma. How do you know that's true? Amar Krav. V'yish asher yitama v'lo yishata. This is talking about the parasha of Parah Duma. We had a couple weeks ago, Parashas Parah. He becomes Tama and he doesn't get the the water, the may Parah sprinkled on. And Yechazah Nefesh Ahim v'tok ha'kal. He gets Kares. If you're going based on English. Mishayish lo kal. Right, part of the post like someone who has a congregation. He also says, and they might go to the church, but they don't really have a congregation. <clears throat> they don't have the best congregation, Jewish congregation. <laughs> it's the best congregation. We might, where it says, Dilma, Kari, Sudalom, Chayav, Aval, Itmu, Yemitmu. Where it says, maybe all the post is telling you they don't have Kari's, right? If they become Tommy, but maybe they do actually become Tommy. They just, if they go to the Mesa, maybe they're not, they're not high of Kari's. I'm a crow. Vihiza ha Torah al Tommy, that part it says, the Torah. Person sprinkles on the tummy, right? The person whose Torah sprinkles the Mepar on the tummy person, and there's a connection. Torah and tummy are connected. The juxtaposition of the pasuk. Kol sheyesh lo tari, yesh lo tumo. Kol sheyesh lo tari, lo tumo. Right? A non-Jew doesn't have a concept of Torah of becoming Torah, so therefore he has tumo doesn't apply to him. A Jew who, who has a concept of Torah has tumo. Ve'ima Torah ud lahavilei tumo havilei. So I said, still, who who has a good juxtaposition? Just if he said Torah lo tummy. Who says it's a comparison with the Torah and the Tommy? Maybe he, he doesn't have Tara, right? There's no way. The, the reason he doesn't have Tara is because the whole May Para, it says in the Parsha of Para that it's talking about the B'nai Yisrael, that you're <clears throat> you're sprinkling them with the May Para. It wasn't given to non Jews, but Tuma maybe does that to transmit this to a Jew. That's what it'd be relevant for. Amar Krav Ish, Asher Yitam Yishata. Right, it says a man who becomes Tamar Velo Yishata doesn't become Tor, he doesn't get the May part of the sprinkle on himself. This is definitely a juxtaposition. Yitam Velo Yishata is part of the same phrase, so therefore, if they don't have Tara, which they don't, they're not part of Paraduma, so therefore, they don't have Tuma. So that's one answer. He can try to give a different answer, a different source. Shiny Hacha, the reason we don't say Ish, right? That was the question, right? Even though it says, Oh, Barab Bnei Yisrael. To exclude all the Yichavim, we should include them partially in the Zeros because of the word Ish. Rach Yaakov says, Shiny Hakadam Akrav in Nisachaltim Osam Vanecha Makarecha. Koshi Yesh Lo Nacha Lo Yesh Lo Tumo. Koshi Yesh Lo Nacha Ein Lo Tumo. This is in the Pasuk. La Avi Lo Imo Yitama. So one of the suggestions before, who has a father? A father for what? For for inheritance, right? So before we said, wait a second, non Jews have inheritance also, but do they have complete inheritance? Rach Yaakov is changing the game now. He's saying. Yes, inheritance applies to most things from one non-Jew to his son, but does it apply for being Moorish over the um, Avadim K'nainim? That's what the Pasuk is talking about. That a uh, father is Yore, is Moorish, his Avadim K'nainim to his son. He has a complete Nachala, right? All the Kavim are not going to be Moorish Avadim K'nainim to their, to their sons, only other possessions. He doesn't have Tumah. If that's true, then Avadim also shouldn't be part of the Zeros. Because Avadim also can't be Moorish other Avadim to their... If they Avadim own Avadim K'nainim, they can't be Moorish to their sons. It's only Jews that could do that. A full Jew. El Amra Rava Bishlam Erchin. Right? The reason you don't say Ish, Darsh need to include Nazir, by Erchin, Shnei Bnei Yisrael, Bnei Yisrael, Ma'arichin, Bein Avdei Chavim, Ma'arichin, Yachol, Yenei Arachin, Tamil Amar Ish. Ish, it says Ish, to tell you that they are included partially in Erechen, right? That if a Jew pledges an Erech of a non-Jew, it's valid. Hacha Bnei Yisrael knows you, maybe in Karba, what are you going to say? Bnei Yisrael, they take the Zeros, and they include their Zeros to bring a Karba. They know the Chavim knows you, maybe in Karba, right? What are you going to say? They they they, they take a Zeros, they don't bring a Karba. Yachal Aflo Yehu Nizir and Klan, you might think there's no Zeros at all. Tamil Lomar, Ish. Ish comes to tell you, no, the prohibitions and the Zeros apply to them, they just don't bring a korban at the end of the conclusion of the Zeros. You can't say that. You can't learn it from here, from Ish, right? I learned it from somewhere else. This Pasuk is coming to talk about, um, this is a Pasuk in Parsh and Sefer Vayikra, I think we'll even Parsh's Emma, where it talks about 
that besides Jewish people, non-Jewish people also have the ability to bring carbonos as long as they're in the davas, right? Free will offerings, non-Jews can pledge to the base of Megdash also. And then in the Pazit says, Laola, which is a specific carbon, to exclude something. So say, what type of Nadava can they do in Aziris? Aziris is free will. You don't have to become a Nazir. Aziris, but at the end of Aziris, it's a Chova. So Rabbi Yossi Lili says, they don't bring Karbonos. So you can't say, Ish comes to tell me that they have Hilkos and Aziris applied to them, just bring a Karbon. Another for somewhere else, they don't bring a Karbon. So the Gemara persists. Ema B'nei Yisrael Nozri Naziris Olam. Ema B'nei Yisrael Nozri Naziris Olam. Maybe what the Pazit is saying, Debra B'nei Yisrael, only B'nei Yisrael can take an Aziris forever, right? Oh, the Kavim can't. Maybe they shouldn't be Nazir at all. Stam Nazir is 30 days. Tamil Omar, Ish, Ish comes to tell me that Nazir does apply to them. So Amr Yochanan, Yochanan rejects, speaks Siv Nazir Olam. Doesn't say Nazir Olam. Doesn't say Nazir Olam in the Pasuk. Nazir means a regular Nazir. Stam Nazir is 30 days. So the Gemara persists. Ema Bnei Yisrael Madir and Bnei Am Ben Nazir and the Chavim Madir and Bnei Am Ben Nazir. Maybe the Pasuk is coming to tell you that Jews, Bnei Yisrael, have the ability to take their children, right, who under Bar Mitzvah and make them a Nazir. Right, we learned earlier on the Avchavtet, right? And Odechavim can't do that. Yachal Ohi Nazir, maybe there's no Parsha in the Zeros by Odechavim at all. That they can't become a Nazir. Talmud Lomar Ish, they could. So the Gemara says, you can't say that. Amar B'yogan, Halachi Ibn Nazir. Talachi Halamosh Mesina Ibn Nazir, that a father can make his son, who's younger than a Bar Mitzvah, a Nazir. That's Halachi Mosh Mesina, that's not derived from a Pasuk, so you can't say that's what Pasuk's talking about. When the Torah says Yisrael to exclude non-Jews, all it's saying is that a uh, Yisrael, right, if his father was a Nazir and separated unspecified money for the Karbanos, then a son can take a Nazir upon himself and use those monies for his Karbanos. But a non-Jew, even though Nazir applies to him, he can't do the specific halacha. He can't use his father's unspecified money for his own Nazirs. And top of Psalm Bezim and I was just finished off. Yachol lo yu nazirin. You might think they're not nazirin at all. Talmud Lomar Ish. Ish would tell me that they are included in the parish of Nazirus. So the Gemara rejects that. Ethmar Amar B'Yochan Allah Ibn Nazir. Like we said, by making Nazirus of your son, the same thing applies this, this halacha that a son could use the father, his money, his father's unspecified money for his karbonus of his Nazirus is also halacha al Mashbisin. It's not like that's what the Torah is talking about. The Torah is not talking about that. So that's pretty much. Where the Gemara leaves off, we'll start a, a new discussion tomorrow. So that's why you can't, this Pasuk cannot be teaching me that Ish comes to include that so, that uh, a non Jew could become a Nazir, at least partially, in terms of forbidding himself from wine and Metamela Mason and getting a haircut, just not bringing a car. But no, Nazir doesn't apply to them at all. Erkin is different. Erkin makes sense to include it partially. Nerachin, it could be the subject of an erech, but by Naziris, it's not applicable. And that's why it's not applicable. And the second reason the Gemara leaves off with, stay tuned for Ian Ben Sion, where I'm going to talk about the end of the eighth parish. Um, a very interesting question the Gemara has um, in this case of the last mission of Suffolk Nazir, Suffolk Mitzora, um, are the the giluach that you do at the end of every 30 days, four times, is that Mishum Mitzvah or Mishum Avurisar? And the question is, can you use dilapidatory cream or not? I'll talk more about that in Ben Zion coming up next.